Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow the Seleucia in container. I am going to start the video with transplanting few seedlings and I am going to end the video with lots of blooms so that you get all the info in a single video. The good news is you can grow the Seleucia both in winter as well as summer season as well. For the winter blooms, you can sow the seeds from around end of September and for the summer blooms, please sow the seeds from the month of February. Before starting anything, let me give you two very simple tips. The first one is, see at the time of growing the Seleucia plants, please grow more than a single plant in one container. The reason is that Seleucia don't grow like a bushy plants, instead it grows somewhat taller and that way whenever you are going to combine more than a single plants in one container, it's going to give you a very very attractive look. And that's the reason why I am going to grow three different seedlings in one container. The second tip would be at the time of growing the Seleucia, please try to grow the Seleucia plants which are going to have blooms in minimum two different colors. More is always better and you can tell that the two different plants are going to have uh, blooms in different colors simply looking at the stem. I mean just take a look at the color of the stem and as you can see in my case the color of the stems are not looking same and I know that I would be getting the blooms at least in two different colors. Since I have decided to grow three different plants in one single container, I am using a 8 inch of container, otherwise I would have used only the 6 inch of container. You can use either plastic container or clay container, just make sure that your pot has at least one drainage hole and then keep some hard object on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. For the potting soil mix, I am taking 75% of normal garden soil and rest 25% of farming compost. Please note that my soil is already a bit sandy and I would highly recommend you, you to use only the sandy soil and don't use the clay soil. The reason is that Seleucia needs very very less amount of water and since the clay type of soil holds the water for more amount of time, if you use clay soil there is a high chance that you are going to overwater your plants. Before transplanting the seedlings, I am just going to pre-wet the soil a bit. Next, I am just going to transplant the seedlings and you can follow me. Alright, it's done and next I am going to keep the pot in a bright area for next few days, let's say 2 to 3 days and then only I would be keeping the pot under direct sunlight. Well, this is the result almost after 58 days and I know that it took quite a while to show you the first blooms but there are a few things happened and that's why it took many days. I will be telling you what happened actually but this is how my plants are looking after 58 days and like I said you already, I mean in my previous part of the video, you can see that I am getting three different plants in single container. Okay, let me tell you what happened actually. See, sparrows were attacking my plants continuously and that's why it took many days to show you the first blooms. Now let me show you some of my other plants. As you can see, just today morning they damaged one of my other plants. And you can see that other two plants are almost blooming and I transplanted them just 15 days back. 
so you really don't have to wait for 50 plus days to get the blooms on your celosia plants you can get the blooms even within the 20 days just after transplanting However, I would say that sparrows did somewhat good thing for me. I mean, they were doing the pinching process <laughs> instead of me. And that's why my plants are looking somewhat bushier. So if you are wondering about pinching your celosia plants, I would say that definitely you can do it once your plants are, let's say, near about 8 to 10 inches or even 6 inches taller. And you can do it more than once if you like. But please also remember that if you are going to do more than once, you may have to wait some more time to get the blooms on your plants. So guys this is the result after 95 days and I really hope that you are liking the end part of the video. Now to be honestly saying I actually lost hope that I would be able to show you the blooms and that's because of the sparrows. And let me tell you that you really don't have to wait for 95 days to get similar kind of blooms and I already said you this thing before you can get it much earlier. So let's discuss few of the very important things so that you can grow the celosia plants very easily. First important thing is sunlight. I would say that celosia plants need lots of sunlight so please try to provide them maximum amount of sunlight you can. As of now all of my plants were on terrace and that's why you can see they are looking extremely beautiful and color is also extremely bright. However, whatever result I have shown you earlier, I mean just after 58 days, till that time they were in other place and that time they were getting only 3 to 4 hours of direct sunlight. And that's why they were not looking that great. So you can just uh, see the difference. I mean whenever you are able to provide them more amount of sunlight, you are going to get more blooms and at the same time plants are also going to look much more healthier. The second important thing is proper watering. This is extremely important and I know that you love your plants a lot and that's why most likely you are going to overwater your celosia plants than underwatering. Let me tell you that celosia plants need extremely less amount of water, I mean less frequent water and always wait until and unless top soil is dry, something like this. As you can see the soil in my container is looking absolutely dry so please wait until and unless your soil looks something like this and then only water it. I am sorry for repeating the same thing but let me tell you that if you are going to keep the soil consistently wet your plants are not going to do that well and that time you may get different kind of fungal attacks on your plants. By the way this is the same container whatever I have shown you earlier and you can see one plant is blooming really very well and other two are not doing that great and it's because of the same thing sparrow. Celosia plants are not that heavy feeder so you really don't have to worry too much about fertilizing them regularly like we do for roses. However, it's always a good idea to feed any plants whenever you grow in containers. And for my plants, I just apply near about 50 to 70 grams of vermicompost once in 30 to 40 days. And in case if you don't want to use either vermicompost or even compost cow dung powder, you can use NPK 191919. Take half teaspoon of NPK, mix it into 1 liter of water and then apply on the soil once in 15 to 20 days. You can also do it once in a month and that way also your plants are going to do well. Celosia plants are mostly hardy but still sometimes they may get attacked by different kind of pests such as mealybugs, aphids and white flies. In my case, some of my plants were getting attacked by the aphids and I mean you would be able to tell it very easily whether it is aphids or some other pest simply looking at the new growth. If the new growths are getting curled something like this, that means most probably your plants is under aphid attacks. And you can use, uh, I mean to protect your plants from different kind of pest attack, you can use the neem oil once in 7 to 10 days. I do have a video where I have shown the best way to use the neem oil so please watch that video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner or I would also put the link in the description box. 
there are two ways to propagate your cellulose plants and first one is obviously the seeds and other one is cuttings you can definitely take near about four to six inches of cuttings and grow as many plants as you like so guys this is all about how to grow and care for the cellulosias and i have shown you everything whatever happened in 95 days I hope you found the video useful and if you did, please do me a favor, please like the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and many many thanks for doing that. Thank you once again for taking your time to watch the video, I truly appreciate it and if you have any questions, simply write them below and I would get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you once again, have a great day.